Hey guys, Emma again, welcome back to the spare room. Not going to be much happening tonight because I'm pretty stuffed. I've had a pretty big day and probably it's only Tuesday so it's time for an early night. But I thought I'd make a start on this and it'd be a short video. I'm just going to Maybe I think tin these up and solder them. This is just liquid paper or paper mate. And I'm just using that as a mask for these ports so they don't fill up with soft solder when I solder them. I'm not 100% convinced that they will. But it might be prudent while I tin them to... To just mask them off a bit. I just got a rag with a little bit of thinners to clean the top. And we're sorted. That's also a pretty good little reminder which side to tin. I'm going to tin this surface and this surface. So I've got some baker soldering fluid which I'll find a container for. And I've got some plumber solder which is just soft solder. A little bit of silver in it. No lead apparently. It's food safe but that's all you can get. I've got some map gas. Let's see how we go. Now here's a tip. Don't put acid in a tin because it'll rot out and you'll get acid all over your bench and that'll rot out. And you'll get acid all over the floor and that'll rot out. And you've got a problem. But I'm going to basically tip it when I'm done with it and rinse the tin out and throw it in the bin. So at this point we're going to be okay. I've got a new stool which was surplus at work or at another store near where I work. So I just grab that and it doesn't rattle or anything which is really nice. It doesn't squeak. Just run some flux around these. See this lighter? Empty. As my dad would say in that wonderful piece of cigarette advertising from the, the 50s and 60s, you light up a bike now. So I've tinned them up and I've cleaned all that white out out of there and given them a file up so they still fit pretty nice. There's no gap there. Next job is to sit that somewhere near the middle. And we'll sit that over there so that it doesn't actually fall apart. 
run a little bit of spirits of salts on both pieces. careful not to get the holes blocked up. One thing I always seem to struggle with with soldering is that I tend to get too much solder on everything. But I think I've done pretty well there. We'll set that over in the corner of the hearth. I just saw that move. And it looks like both sides are hot enough to make the solder run, so we're going to leave it at that and cool it down and have a bit of a look. So that's got it soldered. It's cooled off and cleaned up a bit. We've got a nice fillet around here. And if we have a good look, a nice fillet along here. And along here. And a nice fillet around the other end. So I'm pretty pleased about that. All the ports seem to be still open if we have a look. It still needs a hone or a lap through the, through the cylinder. But all the ports seem to be open. Everything works. I've run a reamer through there again. I've given that a good clean up. And that's all for tonight. So thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff and be kind to each other more soon.